Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Rooms of Death, and in this part we have just level 24 left. And so we are pretty much almost done. We have three rooms left, and I hope you enjoy watching the rest of this part. <laughs> so, um... These goblins just get a smitey. Quick and simple. No fiddling around. Hoodie, this sounds not so good. So, yeah. If you throw doesn't lie right here, you don't... You don't need to keep these goblins alive. In fact, this room, compared to what you've been doing this entire um, level, this room is kind of a nice breather because it's really simple. What you want to do is basically make sure these goblins don't get down here, so you want to utilize one of these two dead ends. And you want to kill them before, well, roaches start spawning. For these two, you could just use that single corridor to trap. I mean, it's really nice that single corridors just destroy goblins, because seriously, goblins. <laughs> no. I, uh, I don't really, per se, like goblins as a gimmick, but they have their moments where they're really cool to work with, but... Yeah, so basically, stuff like this switch will open this door. It does, when you get four of these guys, you have a way back. They make it not too limited. And even if you had no way back to here, you could still, um... I mean, like, we could have went down here before going right here, but it's really all your choice. And if you really don't have a path back somehow, you can just go back up to the X of the room and then just re-enter the room. In any case, we got this room. And in this room is use the trap doors to trap the goblins. But the challenge is to not let any goblins step the trap door, step on the trap door. So what do we do for that? Well, we just make sure they cannot touch the trap door. We make sure we can't touch the trapdoor, even. So what we want to do is just kind of move them in a sense where we can kill as many goblins as possible without them surrounding us. And then we want to utilize every little trick of the book we know. Now we know when there's three goblins, or we should know when there's three goblins, that they, um are hard to get, but doing something like I just did is good enough. Challenge completed. Goblin Free Zone. So yeah, I really like that name. That's, I don't know, it just sounds cool to me. Goblin Free Zone. In any case, that was the last three rooms of the level, so yeah, that was a pretty quick part. No, I actually lied. There's another room. The secrets, there's a secret right here. Yeah, I'm just kidding. You know, I'm, I'm not really sure why they put this here. I guess, I don't know, they make you think there was a secret on this level, but really there isn't a secret on this level. And of course, I'm just kidding. Again. <laughs> I wonder who actually believed me. <laughs> Sorry for lying, but yeah, there is a secret to this room. Or is there? Maybe I'm just tricking you again and this is just some cosmetic wall breaking design. No, this actually has a secret. And you want to know what it is? Remember that room with the spiders on level 15? Yeah, we get to do it again, but this time with goblins. Uh... Let's begin. <laughs> So the idea of this room is we want to keep all the goblins at bay. And what I mean by that is we want to keep them all at one side. To do that, we do something like this. We want to make sure these goblins have trouble getting to us. The only way to really do that is by doing this. Now, this may not be a correct way, but it is a way nonetheless. So, sometimes these guys work with you, other times they don't. It's up to what they decide to do and what they decide not to do. So, sometimes this works really well for you, other times it just flops. It really is a dependent, very, uh, very dependent area. But what we can do, or at least right here, is keep them all on that side. And well, we don't even have to keep them all on that side. We just have to get one down here where we can kind of kill them. We can even do the same right here. So now that we've gotten those guys, our next order of business
is to make sure these goblins work with us. Like so. I'm sure there's multiple ways that are good to do this, but... This way works just fine. So, you know, you can pick your favorite, but I think... I'm not really actually sure where how I should go about doing this next part. I don't I think I've already messed up. Cause the real secret to this room is really just how do you get to these guys? I mean, that's really, ultimately, it. I mean, we can redo what we did here. Which was, um, flood the goblins right there. We can even go ahead and go really far into it and go something like this. There we go. I think this seems to work really nicely. Okay. Now that we've got one goblin, we pretty much have full control over where he goes. And we cleared the room, except we gotta be careful because if we don't leave ourselves a way back. There we go. And so now, like before, why we couldn't just completely cough one side is we have to be able to get back. And we have to be able to get rid of every trap door. So this is a very hard room. I probably maybe made that look easy, but that's no by no means an easy room. Hold mastered yet again! <laughs> Apparently every time I clear a secret room, I'll just say that, so bear with me. In any case. So that's it for level 23, and I'm really excited because now if I didn't seem excited these last levels. Well, I will be excited for these levels, because these two next two levels are my favorite levels in Kingdom Hearts. Well, aside from level 19 being a really fun one, 24 and 25 are some of my favorite levels in Kingdom Hearts Dungeon. I just can't wait for 25, because that's like one of my all-time favorites. But anyway, so next time, and let's play King... Let's play, and let's play... Like, let's play Kingdom Hearts Dungeon... Let's play Kingdom Hearts Dungeon. I apparently can't talk today. We have... Wow, I didn't expect to find a whole city down here. Good deal. Maybe they got a restroom somewhere. Bethro. Yep, level 24. We have entered the city. Dun dun dun. See you then, everybody.